Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you are new, welcome. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back for another video. In today's video, we are talking about the Wayne Goss Luxury Palette in Imperial Topaz. The Luxury Eye Palette in Imperial Topaz. I have some footage of some other looks I did as well as footage for these two looks. Very similar, but I thought it was cute, so I recreated it on the other eye just with a couple different colors. So if you want to see my thoughts on this palette and how I achieved these looks and a couple others, then definitely stay tuned. All right, guys. Um just to address the different background really quickly um my makeup room is our is one of our guest bedrooms and so we have guests so they needed the bedroom <laughs> so here i am in my actual bedroom filming so you will see this background for the next several videos okay all right, now let's get into the palette. So here we have the Wayne Goss Luxury Eye Palette Imperial Topaz. And this comes with six shades, if I can open it, here we go. Six very large eyeshadow shades. Um, neutral and warm tones. I think we've got well, one, one warm tone in this copper shade here and everything else seems to be pretty neutral and of course we got that black right there. Um, beautiful mirror there and yeah very compact little you know palette nothing too big um, but we have the six very large eyeshadow pan shades if you are familiar with Wayne Goss and his channel um, you probably watched his reveal video and he mentioned that he made these really large pans so that you wouldn't deal with dip, getting a dip in your eyeshadow pans that you have so much real estate to get shadow from when you're using you know dipping your brush in so that was his idea there um, with the large pans um so yeah let's get into some swatches really quickly since there are only six shades but we can do this pretty fast i think so here are the first three shades on my finger All right so here is shade number one looks like a you know champagne satin okay we have shade two here looks it's another satin type shade um like a light bronze type of shade there then we have number three that is the black all right and then here are the last three shades okay copper metallic So this is a neutral brown matte and then the glittery celestial shade so that's the three six shades there all right so there are the swatches there on my arm in natural daylight all right so let's get into um this look i'm going to talk you through this eye look all right so let me just slide on over okay all right, so these looks are very, very similar. Um, I basically, you can see on both eyes, we have a halo um, effect using the black eyeshadow. And so starting off with my left eye, so you'll probably see it on your right hand side of your, or your I mean, my right eye on your screen. I went in with shade number four, which is the copper shade here all over my transition area these are satin shades um the copper and then like the neutral like satins those those are satins so you can use it all over the lid all over the transition area and they function similarly to a matte but i find them to be a little easier to blend um than a matte shade might be so i just use that copper shade all over the transition area i did go with my pat mcgrath permagel eyeliner in extreme black all not all over the lid but you know did basically like kind of a messy liner on my lid 
closer to the lash line and blended that up with my finger. And then I went over that with the black eyeshadow from the palette. The black is shade number three. It's a matte shade and I used that on either side of the halo and on the outer V, of course. Um, I blew it out a little bit into the transition area and stuff and things like that. And I used the copper shade that we put in our transition to blend that out as well. And I did kind of do a connection of the black between the inner corner and the outer corner um, across the middle of the crease. Okay, so um, it's kind of, and I left like a circle of blankness for me to go in with the same copper shade that we used in our transition on the center of the lid. But before I did that, I, um, put some glitter glue down to intensify the effect of the copper when I put it down. And so as you can see, I don't think this black shadow is too intense. I think it is a easy to use black. It's not overly pigmented to the point of you have to be really, really careful with it. Um, like the Pat McGrath Extreme Black, that's extremely intense. Light hand is very much so. <laughs> recommended when using that shade but with this one I won't say you want to go heavy you can go you want to go heavy with it but it's not as you know bam in your face upon first use so it's easy to blend up blend, build up to the desired intensity um, I think that is good for beginners for the lower lash line I did take the matte brown in the palette it is shade at number five this shade here on a somewhat fluffy brush and I swept that on the outer third of my lash line and it gives a subtle hint of depth but nothing too much because as you saw from the swatch that shade isn't really you know too intense it's this shade here right there it's, it's not too it doesn't give too much depth on my skin tone so after I applied the copper shade shade number four with my finger on the center of the lid to you know kind of finish off the halo I did go in with the celestial shade and pop that right on top of the copper in the middle to give just a little bit more you know glitz to the look and I also applied that on this inner corner here with my finger okay I didn't put anything on the brow bone as far as like a brow bone highlight or anything like that I didn't do that so we basically did the same look on the other eye but with the other, um, the neutral satin, this shade here. So I went in my transition area with the neutral satin shade. And for the inner halo, I used that same shade, but I didn't really connect. I didn't really connect the halo with the black on this eye. So I left it a little bit more open. As you can see, this has a little bit more of a connection in that crease for the black shade. And this one is basically just, you know, open. Okay. Um, and that's it. That's the only difference between the two eyes. I liked this one so much that I was curious to see how it would look with the other shade. And it looks nice on both of them. I don't know which one I like more. I think I like this one more because I'm a little bit... <laughs> I'm a little more, um, I have an affinity towards cool tone shadows. So this one gives me a little bit more cool effect on this eye. So it's very pretty. I finished off the look with um, mascara, the Pat, or not Pat McGrath, um, Stila Triple X Magnum um, mascara with uh, the L'Oreal. Uh, L'Oreal Voluminous um, Primer underneath. So that's it. That's it for the eyes. Um, I did do a few other looks yesterday, but the sun was going down as I was finishing up the two. So depending on how that footage looks, you may see that those looks, or you may just see one that I recorded in the morning. It's more neutral toned, very daytime work appropriate, okay? So um, I'll just hop over to that footage, let you guys watch that really quickly.
like the first time that I'm using these palettes. I've used uh, this palette, I've used it several times other than the one ones that I recorded for you yesterday. If you look at my community tab, um, I had like a like a black shadow like liner effect with a bronze type lid and a little bit of a champagne highlight in the inner crease area y'all know how I like to do it you could, if you want to see that look it's on the community tab I did do that um, I did another look with the palette so I have gotten a decent amount of use out of the palette and let's get into my thoughts and I did write them down because I'm back to work so time I need to be efficient with my recording time so I have notes I have notes to read from <laughs> okay so my thoughts on the palette this palette is $55. You get 16.2 um, grams of product in the entire palette. So you have 2.7 grams of product in each pan. That's a lot of product. Um, and so that's, that's nice. I think the palette has very nice packaging. It's very nice, very sleek, full of fingerprints from my usage. So I do apologize for that. I like the inside of it. It's just, it, he's using every portion of this palette like there's hardly any like ex there's not a, a lot of extra space in here that could have been used for shadow and things he's just it's filled okay so that is nice I think the palette looks really nice okay um it feels nice in the hand doesn't feel cheap or anything like that so I do really appreciate that um the huge pans that is a plus and I think it's also a con, but we'll talk about talk about the cons later. So on the plus side of the huge pans, if you are somebody who just like you get a palette, you like that palette and you're going to keep using it every single day and you pan your palettes, I think this is great. OK, if, if you're that person. Um, so if you tend to pan, hit pan on shadows and things like that, then I think that's great because you have so much shadow there. You're not you know, it's not like, oh, it's only a little bit so you're going to quickly run out like you have a lot of shadow here so that's really good um and in my experience all the shadows are easy to blend um there are only two mattes this neutral brown toned shade there and then the black um and then the other satin shades you know are there um and like i said earlier i think these shades allow you to really uh blend they, they blend very nicely so i treat these especially this copper and this more neutral tone satin um neutral tone brown satin i treat them like transition shades as you saw as you saw in this look and in the other looks that i did um but then of course they go on the lid really nicely as well um but you're not going to get too much shine out of them so um overall very easy to blend with the shadows here now they're very beginner friendly. I think the shadows are very nice and beginner friendly, um, especially with a black, which is with this black because um, blacks can be a little bit intimidating for, especially for beginners because you don't wanna mess up. You go in with a black that's too pigmented and you don't know what you're doing or you're still learning or something like that, you make a mistake, it can be challenging to fix it. So I think that this allows for a nice buildup of the shade as you desire versus you going in and you've got too much and now you don't know what to do because a black has ruined your entire eyeshadow look. I think that's great. Um, and so I did mention already that the satin shades are great blend out shades. And I think it's a very travel friendly palette. You can see that it fits in my hand very nicely, very easily, and it's everyday friendly. Okay, for every, I think for everybody, um, you know, almost everybody, you can get very everyday friendly looks out of the palette, especially, um, I would say especially kind of like deeper skin tones, medium to deeper skin tones, because these shade, this shade here is not going to show up so dark on your eye. That's the thing. It doesn't show up very dark on your skin tone if you are of a deeper skin tone. It's going to show up very like a trans, very much so like a transition shade, very much so like a maybe a, a hint 
a hint darker than your eyelid so you can get a subtle hint of depth but not too much now lighter skin tone people are going to see a lot of depth from this shade of course from the black and then probably get some more dramatic looks using these two shades but for me you're I'm not getting too much depth out of this palette unless I use the black so um, so if you are someone of my skin tone, but maybe a little lighter, maybe a little deeper, and you're looking for something that doesn't have a lot of depth to it, and I don't mean that in an insulting or rude way, <laughs> um, then this would be, you know, this might be a color story that you would be interested in. And then when you do want to go dramatic, then you have the black option there. Okay. Now, let's talk about some things that people might not like about the palette. Um... I find that in this day and age with eyeshadows, everybody's looking for that high shine. I won't say everybody, but a lot of people are looking for that high shine in your face wow factor from metallic shades or, you know, from metallic shades. These aren't, now these aren't metallics, but it seems like most palettes that are coming out are, they have at least some high shine metallic in it and this doesn't i don't consider this a metallic it's very transparent very sparkly very glittery which is very different from a, sh a shiny metallic and i would consider um like if you think about the metallics in pat mcgrath's palette you think about metallics in sydney gray's things like that those are very high shine very high intensity very beautiful <laughs> so you're not getting anything like that out of this palette you have this sparkly shade here but once again that's more of a topper versus a metallic okay um so i think a lot of us have become accustomed to seeing those high shine metallics and that's not there all right the huge pans um they're huge so for me i'm not gonna get i'm not gonna hit all, use all this shadow i'm not because I'm always trying new palettes. I'm always trying new things. Um, so if you are like me, you collect a lot of eyeshadow palettes and things like that, you probably won't get the benefit of the huge eyeshadow pans that are in this palette. So for me, we probably could have shrunken the, pa the pan size a little bit and added a couple more shades. That would have been nice, you know. Um, or even just shrink the palette size and make the pan smaller and keep the six shades. So those were a, cu a couple things that maybe could have been done because um, the huge pans aren't that huge of a benefit for me. Okay, I don't have a problem with making a little dip in my eyeshadow, <laughs> but I'm not probably not going to use this enough to make a dip in the first place. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> um, and on me, a con is that this brown shade is a little is more of a transition shade it's more of a transition shade i do get a little bit of depth is it in it as you can see or as you saw in that one look that i did that was more like very light not a lot of depth in it so this shade is not providing too much depth so the only depth i get is from this shade here and wayne goss recognized that that's why he put in the black is for deeper skin tones to have something to deepen their eyeshadow looks with however everybody doesn't want to use a black in all their eyeshadow looks so yeah you don't always want to use a black so but this is all we have to get that depth in the outer corner and in the crease okay so regarding the celestial shade i think it is pretty however i'm gonna apply this with my finger typically and through all the times that I've used it, it feels like I'm getting a little bit of a hard pan on it, which is easily rectified by just taking something and scraping that off. But why am I getting a hard pan? I don't like that. So um, it makes it harder to pick up the shadow. So, I mean, it's still coming on my finger a little bit, but I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like it's, um, it's getting a little hard pan. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. And then, you know, I've seen a lot of people saying this already, but that the palette is really basic. Okay. All neutral tones, nothing fancy about it. Nothing in your face, nothing revolutionary about the shade arrangement or anything like that. So that can be a con for some people. So do I recommend this palette? If you are looking for an everyday palette nothing no frills you know nothing over the top then i think you would enjoy the palette if you 
if you are a beginner and you have the budget for a $55 six pan palette and um, you want some easy to use shadows that's not too crazy, then I think you would enjoy this palette. And like Wayne Goss said, if you have like more mature lids and things like that, I think you'll enjoy this palette as well. He said he does his testing on more mature lids or more mature, um, you know, yeah, lids because if it works on them, then his theory is that it'll work on everybody. So, you know, satins are easy to use. They're not gonna add too much texture or any texture really on your lids and things like that. So more mature, people with more mature lids and things like that will appreciate that more than a palette full of like high shine metallics. I do, from my, um, the people that I speak to that are more mature, the ladies in my life that are more mature, they have an idea that less is more, okay? And I think you can get, you know, this is a less is more palette. You know, am I happy that I have the palette? Yes, I'm happy that I experienced it. I think the formulas are very nice, like I said, and they blend out very easily. I'm very happy with these looks that I came up with. So um, I am happy that I have it, um, but I don't think it is a necessity. You can probably dupe these shades in other palettes, but ironically, nothing is readily coming to mind. I mean, of course we all have a black, okay? We all have a black, um, but these two like satin shades there nothing is really coming readily to mind other shades that I have are a little bit more bronzy they're a lot like shinier things like that so as far as like duping out the formula of these exactly um, and the finish of them exactly nothing is readily coming to mind if you guys have ideas of what you want me to compare to I can do a community post because I got the community tab now so you guys let me know like if you want to see swatches comparisons things like that let me know what you want to see compared and I can do some swatches real quick take a photo and put it up on the community tab for you guys to see just let me know in the comment section all right so i will leave the decision as to whether you want to get this palette up to you but i did want to let you guys know what my thoughts are on it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up okay and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i would greatly appreciate it and we can have a fun chat in the comment section okay and if you want to see more content from me definitely hit the subscribe button i upload videos on luxury makeup um definitely want to get more of a voice out there to see how luxury products apply on deeper skin tones, what they look like, and just the thoughts about them so you guys can know yourself before you spend your money on them, all right? So if you enjoy that content, definitely hit the subscribe button, all right? Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. See ya.